I'm so excited you're here. You're here and you're watching this video because you're thinking about starting a balloon decor or related decor business. And that's a really cool thing to be thinking about and planning for and digging into. I'm Jeff, I'm with Balloon Suite and Asset Lab. And this video is gonna give you the overview of, from our perspective, what you need to be doing as you're thinking about starting your business. Now, I've started several different businesses. I've bought and sold businesses. I don't own a balloon decor business, but my team works with hundreds of balloon decor businesses on their marketing. And so as someone who is business savvy and who sees, has seen lots of these businesses come and go and start and be fantastic and grow fast and start and struggle, uh, we, ha we I definitely have a perspective that I think you would like to hear compared to all of the other perspectives and information I'm sure you're hearing. So let's tell, let's talk about, let's talk about when you're starting a business, what do you need to think about before? I mean, like you're, you might be looking at our, how, how to start your balloon decor business article. You might be just hitting this on YouTube. I don't know exactly where you're coming from and what the context is here, but I'm going to come, I'm going to go to the start and we're going to talk about starting a business, right? There's a, when you're good at art and so you start painting and then you start selling and all that, it's a very different path than when you're thinking about the question, should I start a business and what business should I start? So I want to start there. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And then let's talk about your competition and your market, because these are very important to figure out ahead of time so that you know what you're going to be dealing with on sales in particular. And then let's talk about some of the things you're going to need to actually get moving and get started and start that sales engine. All right. So let's start at the beginning. Number one, why do you want to do a decor business? Right. What, why is this thing? Do you, do you like balloons? Do you, do you really love creating that stuff? Are you a business owner and you see an opportunity? You know, you're, you're thinking you have a business and you're thinking about expanding into decor. I don't know exactly what situation the situation is, but I want you to understand why you are thinking about this as the business you want to offer. Have that clear in your mind, because the next thing gets interesting. What specifically are you going to sell? Oh, Jeff, I'm going to I'm going to sell balloon decor. OK. Are you going to sell grab and go garlands? Are you going to sell classic decor? Are you going to sell arches? Are you selling to a specific type of customer? Like you're specifically working on auto dealers, RV dealers, uh, motorcycle dealers, etc. Or are you looking for the private party angle? Um, understanding what you're going to sell is important because it's because everything else is going to hang off of this. Now, the next thing I want you to think about is how are you actually going to deliver whatever it is you sell? And when I say deliver, you just thought about a truck, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking, we're talking about the business overall right now. So I'm actually talking about operations. Are you going to be the one inflating balloons and building the decor and putting it in a vehicle and delivering it to the customer? Or are you going to have a team that does that? Thinking through a little bit, the operational aspect of this business, thinking about that now and how that's going to work. Very important. You don't want to start your business without having an understanding for how you're going to fulfill orders. Now, uh, so what do you want to sell? How are you going to create that and deliver it? This is operations. And now I want you to think about something that is probably the most missed item by the people I meet who are starting their decor business. Absolutely, the most missed item, the most important item. It's how are you going to sell this? can't tell you how many people I talk to at their at the start of their balloon decor journey and they're signing up for a balloon suite website package. You know, maybe they're getting the local SEO and some of these other things going too at the beginning with us. And it's very exciting, but they have no idea how they're going to go sell. They just want the website because people are just going to show up at their door. I, re I really, really encourage you to think specifically about what are the activities you are going to execute on a daily basis, a weekly basis. Uh, to actually get out there and build relationships and start selling the corn, finding people who want the decor. For a lot of businesses that have started on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok, they've basically started doing organic balloon decor, uh, specifically organic garlands. And so their primary sales channel is through social media. And that's how they're meeting people. And that's how people are finding them. And then they're sending them to their website and they're ordering there. If you're doing uh, like the dealership example I gave you earlier, the way you're going to meet people and sell that is by walking into the dealership and meeting people, not going to be on social media. I want you to think about how specifically you're going to sell decor. Now, so this is kind of the general startup stuff. 
But if you take a little bit of time here and figure this stuff out, it makes everything else way, way, way easier. So please take a little time and think about this. By the time you come to us for a website, we want to know who is your specific target audience for your, for your business. Who specifically are you trying to sell to? And saying mothers with kids that have birthdays, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about specific neighborhoods, specific business types, or you know, specific attributes about that potential customer. And so we can really narrow right in on who that is. That's why I'm telling you to spend some time thinking about how you're going to sell it and what you're going to sell, right? So uh, the next thing, if you have an idea around all this, I want you to think about whether or not your market, meaning your geography, where you are, this is a local business, Balloon Decor, are there 50 competitors that are really strong in your market? If there are, do you think there's additional demand? And so that's why you want to get into it? Or are you looking at those competitors thinking, there's no way I'm ever going to overcome what they're offering. So maybe this isn't a great place to be doing it. I want you to think about your market, how much business you're going to be able to generate because of the size and scale of that market and what your competition is like. This is really going to help, particularly when you're thinking about your marketing. And remember, we come, I'm coming from this marketing angle. My team comes from this marketing angle. <clears throat> think about that ahead of time. When, when I started my first marketing agency, I did not think about the local competition at all. And I stumbled into a market that already had over 600 digital marketing companies when I started the business. I didn't take the time to figure that out ahead of time. And I probably would not have started a digital marketing agency the way I did if I had taken the time to think about this. So this is all this is all of the startup stuff, right? Kind of zooming out, thinking about it. Yes, I'm really going to do this. Okay, so now let's transition forward. Let's talk about some of the things you're going to need. You're, I highly recommend you get a business license. Um, I highly recommend you get a business entity set up and that you do not operate as a sole proprietorship. Now, I am not going to go into the tax implications and the legal implications. You're going to go watch an incredible amount of videos about this from small business attorneys trying to teach you and help convince you of this. But... Please, please, please go get that business entity created. Do not use a sole proprietorship. Um, an LLC is fine. There's many other options. Um, get that business license. Get yourself licensed. You're going to want business insurance. You're going into customers' buildings and rooms and rental properties and all that. You're going to have equipment. You could get hurt. A team member could get hurt. You're going to want to do those basic things for your business and protect your business. And get yourself into a position where your taxes and your business are legit and worthy of a customer, right? And and ultimately, you're not doing this because you want a job. You're probably doing this because you want to make money. Doing these things sets you up to make money, right? Once you have those things, it's time to start getting the selling engine going. <clears throat> you may have your equipment. You may not have your equipment. You might, you know, I mean, like, I don't know where you are. You might have inventory. You might not have inventory. You might not know exactly what to order yet. Um, I would recommend that you get your selling engine going first. Because if somebody called you today, you could say, oh, yeah, no problem. I'm not taking orders until, you know, or we're full until, and you could say four weeks from now. But if you go spend all that time getting your inventory and your equipment and taking all your training and all that stuff right now, and then you open up for sales and marketing four weeks from now, then you're like, okay, uh, gosh, I really wish I had some business now. I've spent all this time getting trained and I put all this money into it be really nice if I had some customers. Let's flip that upside down, okay? Let's do business in the new way, not the old way. Let's go get the marketing engine and the sales engine going. Schedule those orders out there in the future. And in that time, then you know exactly when you need to get yourself up and running by so that you can start delivering on those orders. So what does that mean? Again, we, we marketing agency, but you can you, I, I hope you're thinking this. I hope I mean shut the video off if you don't like the guidance, right? Go watch somebody else's video if you just want to be told take this cool, awesome training package from me and, you know, get really good at balloons and then the orders will come. If you want that, go find somebody else's video. Start your marketing and sales engine. You need a website. You need a Google My Business listing. You need a Facebook profile and an Instagram profile. You may already have started down this path. And so you might already be bringing people in. You might do it, be doing a little business on Instagram or TikTok or something like that, particularly if you're coming in the Garland and the organic route. You've got to get this, this sales engine moving. So if you're only sitting on a TikTok and you're selling on TikTok, let's get that website up. Let's get the ability for people to fill in a form on there. Let's get that Google business listing set up. We need to start getting reviews from your customers, right? We've got to get this engine moving so that you can generate revenue 
so that you've got the momentum you need to stay in this for the next 10 years and have this great business. And at some point you want to sell it, right? And cash out and make that liquidity. So get the sales engine going. <laughs> Back up, listen to the list I just gave you. That's exactly what you want. At Balloon Suite, we provide all that. So you can go check out the plans on balloonsuite.com. You can go get started on the, the, the marketing side of what you need to do, the website, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you want that done for you, instead of you having to struggle through that, um, it's very affordable. Go in there, get the help. It'll be tailored exactly to the kind of business that you're looking for. We do balloon decor all day, right? Now, you're, of course, going to need equipment for inflating, equipment for popping, equipment. Um, there's, there's a bunch of different things. Again, there's lots of people out there who are going to give you that guidance, but you are going to need that basic equipment. You are going to need that basic inventory based on what you're selling and who you're selling to, right? If you're going to focus on the local universities as the, you know, in the sports teams, you're obviously going to need inventory that's tailored to those colors and that kind of decor that they're interested in. You are going to need some training. You may already have it. I don't know where, where exactly you are in that part of the journey, but you, you're going to need some training on how to build the kind of decor and the techniques used to hang decor and attach decor and all that kind of stuff. Go seek that out as well, right? But you can do that. You can do these other things all at the same time. You can work on equipment and inventory and training all at the same time as you're rolling through that. Um, you're going to need some office supplies. Of course, you've got, you're going to need a phone of some kind. You're going to need, you know, print a, a printer so you can print out your packing list for what all need to go in the truck or the van or however you're going to deliver and those sorts of things. Think through those things. But that's why I asked you to start at the beginning on how am I going to fulfill these orders? Because that's what's going to help you understand exactly what you're going to need to fulfill. <clears throat> so let's talk about some questions that come up. Uh, number one, how much does it cost to start a balloon decor business? It's pretty affordable. I don't know exactly what it's going to be in your specific area or your specific country um, because of the cost of equipment and uh, shipping and the cost of balloons and all that. I don't know exactly what it's going to be in your area, but balloon decor is a very affordable business to start. It's not one of those I started with zero dollars. It's not one of those I started with five hundred dollars businesses, but it's a very affordable business to get into from an equipment standpoint. Um, it will succeed if you figure out how to sell it first, right? Which is why you're hearing that guidance from me. Um, I get asked, you know, how do I generate I want more orders from, you know, corporate clients. I want more orders from event planners. I want more orders from dealerships or schools. Uh, the key there is to understand that you're going after a particular market and then to go meet those people and talk to those people, right? Who can you call? Do you have anybody that you know who is at a university, right? Could you call them and ask them who at the university would be purchasing this or working with the sports teams or, you know, creating that environment? Okay, can you get to that person? Just ask them, hey, what's important to you? I've got a balloon decor business in the area and, you know, we're really working on doing a better job of meeting the needs of our clients. And I would just, you know, you're exactly the kind of person that we would love to, to work with. And I would just like to know, have you worked with anybody else? How did it go? What do you think could be better? Start asking. Do you hear, do you hear that? I'm just saying, call them and find out, mm, call them and find out. Another great question uh, that we get all the time. And I see asked all the time online is how should I price my work? Now, there's a couple different ways to go about this. You can price based on your expense. So what, what are the expenses of the stuff, the inventory, the expenses of the time? <clears throat> and then you can add a margin on that. The other thing you could do is you go shop your market. You could you could go look at the what prices that other businesses like yours are charging, and you could use that as a place to start. No matter what you do, I need you to pay attention to your numbers because if you get three years in and you're making no money and you're working full time and you have a person working for you, you're gonna hate, you're gonna hate your business pretty badly. So you need to be paying attention to how am I actually going to make profit out of this business, not just what can I sell and what would that amount be? So this is a little bit on, you know, our take on how you should get going on your business. We have a very different take than others because we come from a very different perspective, a perspective much more founded in business and what do we need to do in business and then what we see from our balloon decor clients and what's helping them be successful or not successful. If you like this kind of content, please hit that like button. There's no commitment there, but it just lets me know that you're liking it, you're enjoying it, and this is the kind of video that you uh, you want to see more of. If you know somebody who would benefit from watching this, please take a minute to share it with them. And, uh, and whatever you're doing today, the fact that you're watching a, a video about starting a business means that you're in an exciting time, and I hope you're having a great day.